students, so uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the uh, uh, assignment, okay, in chapter 12, okay, reproduction in uh, flowering plants. So uh, there are two questions, okay, I would like to talk about. Uh, for the uh, the first one is about the uh, sexual and asexual reproduction, and the second one is about the uh, pollen tube germination. Okay, so for the uh, first question, okay, we need to complete this table. So for the first part, okay, we need to compare. Uh, uh we need to distinguish. Okay, whether uh, uh these plants, okay, uh, they undergo sexual or asexual reproduction. Okay, so remember that we call the significant process involved in sexual reproduction but not in asexual reproduction and obviously the significant process is fertilization right okay so uh by writing down asexual or asexual in this column okay you need to think about oh for the seed for the fruit or for the stem tubers okay so how can they uh reproduce do they reproduce Sexually or asexually, it depends on uh, uh, whether they undergo fertilization or not. So that's for the first part. And for the explanation, okay? So what you are going to do is that you need to tell me how do the seed develop from? How do the fruit develop from? Okay, so for these two parts, you need to mention the particular structure or the particular part of the flower, okay? And of course, the significant process involved. That means the fertilization. Okay, so you need to uh, tell me that all oh, the seed. Okay, they develop from uh, which structure? Okay, in the flower. Okay, after the fertilization occurs, something like that. And for the third part, okay, it's about the potato, the stem tuber. So, uh, you you need to mention is that or oh, how do the stem tubers Develop from, so you need to mention the particular structure of the vegetative organ. Okay, it will develop into the whole potato uh, potato plant again. So that particular that specific structure. Okay, on the vegetative organ. Okay, you need to mention it, and uh, which type of uh, cell division is involved. So actually, you you have just learned two types of cell division. One type mitotic cell division, and the other type is meiotic cell division. So, uh, I think you are able to tell me, okay? So, uh, how can how can the stem tuber reproduce by themselves? Okay, uh, which part in the vegetative organ and which type of cell division involved? So that is our first question. And for the second one, it's about the pollen gland and the pollen tube. So before the experiment, we need to uh, know about the general uh, concept, okay? Uh, about the pollen gland and pollen tubes. So uh, you can see that oh, this part is the pollen gland and this part is the pollen tube, okay? So for the A1, okay, it's talk about this pollen gland comes from the, uh, the insect pollinated flower. So what you're going to do is that state a feature observable in the photomicrograph that is adapted for insect pollination. So for A1, actually, you need to recall the special features of the insect pollinated flower, okay? There's uh, 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 several uh, uh, features, okay, in that particular type of flower, insect pollinated flower. But the point is that you need to focus on the feature observed in the photomicrograph, okay, that means only the pollen gland, okay, uh, are the pollen gland special enough to show you that, oh, you can, you can uh, observe it and then draw the conclusion, mm, it comes from the insect pollinated flower, okay, so in part A1, even you may know that, or even you can check from the textbook, or uh, the petals of the in insect pollinated flower, they are large in size, and they are brightly colored. Yes, yes, it's correct, but not in this question, because in this question, you need to uh, 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 state your answer according to the photomicrograph, okay? So, focus on the pollen gland, the structure. And the A2, okay, uh, we talk about, or oh, to which human body structure does the pollen gland have a similar role in reproduction? So, and then explain your answer. So, uh, the first 
step, we you need to recall or oh, what is the role or what is the function of the polling tube. The function of the polling tube is that to deliver or to tra uh, transfer the male gamete to the ovary in the ovary, right? And then I generalize this idea to become this because we need to compare the plant and compare the human body together. So the general uh, function will be to transfer or to deliver the male gametes into the female reproductive part. Now, actually the same idea, but for this statement, okay, is very specific to the pollen tube. That means in plant reproduction, okay? And it is a general statement, okay, for the plant and for the human reproduction. Deliver male gamete into female reproductive uh, part, okay? So, that's the explanation. That's one mark already, okay? You need to tell me that, oh, uh, which body structure, okay? Uh, it can also uh, uh, transfer the male gamete, but in human body, okay, that means we are talking about sperm to the female reproductive part, okay? So for the human body structure, you need to think about uh, which structure, okay? It can help to uh, transfer the sperm to the female reproductive organ. And after you state uh, that particular structure, uh, you can say that because both of them, both of the pollen tube and both of that structure, okay, and that structure, okay, they deliver the male gametes into the female reproductive part, okay? So that's the part A2. And for the part uh, uh, B, okay, is talking about the experiment. And in the experiment, we are going to investigate the germination of the pollen tubes from the pollen glands. And the experiment, what we do, okay, is that we put the pollen glands uh, into into the sucrose solution of different concentrations, okay? And let's see, oh, when the concentration of the sucrose solution changes, okay? So what will be the success rate of the pollen tube germination, okay? So uh, that's the basic idea, okay? The basic comparison, okay? And I will talk about in here. So for the uh, simple idea for the uh, germination of pollen tube, okay? We call that or oh, when the pollen gland they land on the stigma, okay, of the uh, uh, of the flower, okay. So uh, the pollen tube will germinate. But the point is that how can they, okay, how can the pollen tube germinate? It depends on the sugary solution, okay, uh, on the top of the stigma. And somehow in this experiment, you can see that all oh, the sugary solution is the sucrose solution, okay. At least it's sugar, okay? So the point is that the sugary solution can stimulate or it can promote, okay, uh, the pollen tube germination. And of course, in some plant, okay, the sugary solution can also inhibit, okay, the pollen tube germination. And in this table, what, what I want you to do is that to analyze the pattern because it's useful for the following part. Okay, so uh, there there are uh, two hints for you. Okay, the first part is that what is the pattern of the success rate of the pollen tube germination when the concentration uh, of the sucrose solution increases? Okay, so uh, you can compare. Okay, for the purple arrows. Okay, so you you can see that oh when the concentration increases. So what will be the success rate okay, of the pollen tube germination? That's the first comparison. And the second comparison is that compare the successful germination rate okay, among plants PQL under the same concentration of sucrose solution. For example, or 0% or 5%, you can compare or 21.4, uh, 6 and 23.2 percentage, something like that. Okay, under the same concentration. So any comparison, you can, you can tell me. Okay, so two different patterns okay you are going to study so for this uh for this data okay is special okay for the following parts so later on we will go back to this slide and you will know what is going on so for uh part b1 okay name the flower part okay which uh, particular part of the flower okay uh, on which the pollen tube will germinate so you can check the previous slide okay and then you will know that where do the pollen glands land on? Okay, 
So and for the second part, okay, it refers to the table. Okay, you need to draw conclusion. Okay, and the conclusion is about the effect of the sucrose solution. That means the concentration, okay, maybe, okay, on the success rate of protein tube germination. So for part two, okay, because this part is uh, uh, is asking you to draw conclusion. Now remember that. Uh, in biology, okay, there are many types of questions, okay, to ask you to draw conclusion. Somehow, what you are going to do is that you just need to tell me, okay, you just need to point out to describe the significant pattern and then draw the conclusion directly is enough, okay. You don't need to explain a lot. You don't need to deduce a lot, okay? Or think that, or because something, 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 and then, or this thing, this thing will happen, okay? You don't need to do it. You just tell me what you can observe from the table or from the graph, okay? For example, in the chapter of MSI, when we are studying, when we are investigating the effect of temperature on the MSI activity, okay? So if I tell you, oh, draw conclusion, okay, uh, uh, according to the graph, something like that, you just need to tell me, oh, when the temperature increases from zero degree Celsius, okay, uh, to to to, for example, thirty five degree Celsius, okay, or oh, the MSI activity or oh, increase increases, that's okay, because that's what you observe from the graph. So now what you observe from the table, okay? And for the part three, okay, he asked that a student thought that the result obtained from using a 15% sucrose solution from plant R was due to error, okay? And then how can he find out if his idea is correct? So we go back to the previous slide and check that. Okay? For the 15% sucrose solution, what is going wrong here? Okay, so the point is that you can observe the the overall trend, okay, of P and Q. Okay, you can see that the number keep increasing. Okay, keep increasing, right? But for R, uh, C, uh zero to five percent increase, correct. Five to ten percent increase, also correct. But ten to fifteen, and then fifteen to twenty. Okay, let's see. Okay, ninety one point two, and then E. It decreases, okay. De it decreases, okay, to uh nineteen point one, okay, ninety point one, and then okay, when when the sugar solution, the concentration increases to twenty percent, okay, so the percentage become ninety two point four increases again. So actually, it should keep the de uh, increasing just like plan P and plan Q, but for plan out something ah it may really go 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 wrong law okay so actually uh uh is it really the error okay or something that uh, uh that's the true phenomenon okay we can really observe okay so that's why the question is asking you how can he find out his idea or oh, due to error this idea is correct okay so for part three uh that's that's the question, okay, about the nature of science. Because when we are doing the experiment, okay, especially in your SBA, okay, uh, you need to uh, design your own experiment, and then you need to analyze the results and think about, hey, yeah, what is going wrong, okay? The results, okay, is not that normal, okay, or is not the same as your expectation. Okay, anything goes wrong, you need to check it. Okay, so now like, I give you the first step. Repeat the experiment for several times. Okay, remember for several times and take the average result. And then you need to compare. Okay, the new result and the old result. And I start the 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 two possibility for you. The first one is that the results are consistent but significant uh, significantly different from the original ones. Okay, and the second one will be the results are consistent okay and similar to those in the experiment that means for the possibility one okay that means or oh, after you check the new result okay or oh, uh, uh you you can see that or oh, keep increasing okay and for the possibility two that means or oh, the the new result you really show that or oh, uh the the percentage okay in 50 percent is also lower okay so what is going wrong here Okay, so whether the results support or not, 
to his idea.